Okay, what this chart is about is it's often thought in in politics that there's a scale of left to right where to the left are the liberal in the United States, they'd be called Democrats. And towards the right, there's more conservative people. And again, in the United States, these would be called Republicans. But that's, that's just not true. Well, it's not, oops, it's not entirely true. What we have is a scale, uh, a pair of scales here, which show two different key factors, economics and cultural uh, philosophies. And on this scale, this left to right scale in the United States system, we would say that this area right here would be the far left coming down to the far right for the extreme Democrats coming against the extreme Republicans. But that doesn't tell the entire story because there are some people who agree with liberals on certain issues but agree with conservatives on other issues in both of these directions. They might, if they agree with liberals on cultural issues, but conservatives on economic issues, they are libertarians. If they agree with Democrats on economic issues, but conservatives on cultural issues, these people are either called economic liberals, cultural conservatives. So why is this important? Well, because if we're not just talking about Democrats and Republicans in the United States, several part, several countries and even several parties within the United States will talk about other parties or other interests. And libertarians is probably the, out of these four groups, the third most important group in American politics. What they believe is they share the liberals' belief that we should have cultural liberty, which is to say that a lot of decisions that are made by individuals according to how they choose to express themselves, who they tend to associate with, uh, who they choose to marry, should be made by the individual, how they, and how they control their body. Conservatives believe that there is some strong, and in, in people in these, this bottom area down here tend to believe that there are strong reasons to limit what an individual chooses to do with his own life, and that society is responsible to, to set certain limitations on that. On the economic scale, it's, it's almost the opposite. These libertarians and conservatives would say what a man does with the money or income that he receives should be his to decide what to do with entirely. The further along on the scale that you are, the more that you believe that fact. Towards, the, towards this side, you have economic equality, which is to say that at the far end, that all individuals should have this, the same access to, to economic benefits, despite what their income is, despite what the market rewards them with. And we have a scale along this side, which goes from everybody gets the same amount to nobody has to contribute anything to society if they don't want to, and then you have a, a set of places in between where most people fall. And in fact, nobody is exactly a completely completely falls completely onto this edge and nobody falls completely onto this edge. Everybody's in the middle somewhere. It's just a degree of how far. So what you're seeing in the middle is the political center. And the political center is it's an idea that where you're saying that yes, there is some need for order and culture, but people should generally be free, and there's some reason to allow people to have uh, free reign over their economic gains, but there's also reason to believe that we need to do some leveling out, because it might create inequalities. So, the political center is where these two hashes meet. 
So on on in the United States in the two party scale, the Democrats that would be theoretically in this corner, and Republicans would be in this corner, and people who are centrists would be right in the middle here. Now, this is kind of simplistic thinking, though, because the idea of the political center is this should represent the will of the people in general. Some people are more liberal than the average citizen. Some people are more conservative than the average citizen. Some people are more libertarian than the average citizen, and some people are more in this other mixed bag over here, the economic liberals and cultural conservatives group over here. So, liberals would say that, for instance, that our country is here, our country is here, and needs to go in this direction. Whoops, where's this arrow at? I don't know where the arrows are. Yeah. They need to go in towards this direction. Oops. That's what the liberals would say. Conservatives would say the opposite, right? Conservatives would say, oops. Conservatives would say, I don't want to cancel some of this. Oops. Conservatives would say that we are too far from the center on this side that we're too liberal and that we need to get in this direction to find the political center. But you could also lay out various countries uh, onto this scale. For instance, Soviet Russian, Russia, the USSR, was highly economic liberal, highly for economic equality, but possibly not so strong on cultural liberty. Uh, they limited the, the freedom of speech, and they limited, for instance, freedom of religion and that kind of thing, uh, where you had to have the state, state approval to do a lot of things. So they were more into this category. So when you hear people speak of, of communist, they probably fit into this category right here. Um... Some countries, uh, I, I can think of, for instance, uh, Switzerland might fit really high over here, where they think that people should have the right to as much of their income as we can have, and people should be as free as they possibly can. It, this is, again, Switzerland and the Netherlands, they tend to agree on this kind of, uh, these sorts of policies. Uh Industrial Europe tends to be in this direction. Uh, these would be the France and the Germanys and the Englands. Uh, they tend to provide a lot of things like health care benefits for everybody and um, unemployment and maybe uh, welfare in general. And they also have a high tradition of allowing things like freedom of speech. Uh, they, the only things that they'll tend to limit might be things like gun control. They, they, they tend to support that those kinds of issues. So the the major European powers tend to be in this core over here. Um, we tend to be more conservative than those countries in the United States. The question is how far on the scale we go is a question of um, of of politics, you know, of personal preferences or personal views of how the system works. Uh, but highly conservative, for instance, areas, nobody lives really down this area except for maybe a, a lot of third world countries are like this, where very, very rich people have got the government to allow them to hold on to a bunch of their money. And also there's a strong political or religious order to limit people's personal freedoms. In other words, there isn't freedom of religion, you'll have to follow a state religion. Um, again, talking about the, any of these issues, they're all relative to, to other people. In other words, one person is only a liberal compared to another person. And you can move the liberal back to the center and then put them put the other person down here. It's just it's relative, right? As you move on the scale two people who are equally far apart, it's just, it, it's a question of relativity. 
and political center isn't a thing that actually absolutely exists. It's just a concept to show you how being on these two different scales, you can lay out the people, people's political beliefs into four major categories, these four major categories. Uh, thanks, and I hope this helped.